I'm back with another episode of the Manosphere Exposed. Now, they reported the last episode of this and it got taken down. So this time I'm going to try to be more careful with my words. Now, if you haven't seen this series before, it's a series where I expose the things that men say in quote unquote Manosphere spaces. Now, let's get into it. First, I need you guys to watch this short clip and it'll all make sense. Hey. Hey. <laughs> One thing before we go. Um, do you put out on the first date? No. Okay. No problem. Um, so, are we splitting the bill for today? <laughs> Absolutely not. Perfect. That's all I needed to know. Now, first, I got to talk about the video before I even get into the comments from the men underneath this video. <laughs> now, I'm confused because nowadays men want women to be submissive to men because they are the supposed God-given leaders and heads of women. And these same men will say constantly that women need men because men do what? Provide and protect. But you're not willing to buy a woman that you're trying to get to know a meal? So you're not actually willing to provide or protect. Then you say that you don't want thoughts or women that are ran through or women who are promiscuous, but you want a woman that doesn't even know you to have sex with you on the first date because you bought her some pasta? Make it make sense. Once again, here we go with the supposed most logical showing that they are anything but logical. But now let's get into the comments. Now, Diet 08 says, her body, her choice, his wallet, his choice. Sir, by the looks of you, I don't see you having to be worried about a woman choosing you at all if it's her choice. <laughs> okay, but let's just move forward. Then another man says, I agree with him. Give women the equity they want. So being fair to women is expecting them to have sex with you for a meal? Man, so let's, let's just move on. <laughs> Sam Young Forever says, an alpha move. I love it. This is how it should be in the dating market. LOL. <laughs> and what's wild is that this is clearly an older man. And then he wonders why he's single. <laughs> then you have this person named Harmonica Boss. And I'm not even going to address his page. Even though I really wish I could, but community guidelines... But he says, yep, all these entitled foodie callers out here trying to get $300 meals and bring the leftovers to their bad boy BFs so they can joke about the simp who got cooked for a free dinner. First of all, sir, that sounds awfully personal. That sounds very anecdotal to me. Did that happen to you? Hmm. Honestly, I'm wondering how a man who calls himself harmonica boss can really expect to be taken seriously. But I digress. Women are not out here being in men's company just for food. Let's be real here. There is a lot of risk that comes with engaging with men. So if it was like that, she could have just bought her own meal and hung out with her girls. Women are making money and a lot of money at that. And they can definitely afford to buy themselves a meal. So I wish that you would stop acting like that we're in the 1900s where women were not able to even have bank accounts. And I'm saying this with complete certainty. If this man had a girl that stopped talking to him after a dinner, I'm a thousand percent sure that it was because he was a douche and not because she was trying to get some free food. But then this person named Darth Coyster says, feminism for the win. Oh my goodness. Women wanting equal rights. Well, you know what? That's so damaging to men. So he thinks, oh, well, now we should just require sex from them for a meal. That'll show them. That'll show them that they should have never wanted equal rights. They should have let us keep control over them all the time. <laughs> then a person named I Bleed Blue 1980 says, and you know, with, it, with a name like that, you already know that he is more than likely melanin deficient and also more than likely a middle-aged racist. But he says women expect the world and never give anything in return. Um, how is that? Why is that? How did you come to that conclusion underneath this video? Because a woman would like to not have to be forced to have intercourse with a strange man because he bought her some food? Hmm? 
Then I see this comment from the person who shared this video in the first place, comedian Shane. And he says, well, women don't see men's time and money is valuable. Well, I look up this man and lo and behold, he is an old BET Comic View comedian. And this man is 60 years old, 60 and single and complaining about buying a woman a meal. And what's crazy to me is, is that with him being 60 years old, it would seem, and alone, it would seem like he would understand that maybe his thought processes and mentality com concerning women is the reason why he's all by himself. But I guess that's too much mental work to do. <laughs> and when I say this, I really mean it. I really think that mankind, or more specifically, most of men are doomed because this is ridiculous. Look at this comedian Shane person. This man should be old enough to know better. Just embarrassing. Out here looking like a zesty grandpa. <laughs> now, let me just get into the next post that I saw, okay? I saw this in a Manosphere Facebook group. Something a black woman has plenty of. Okay, well, let's look at the comments. Bad attitude, loud mouth, wigs, weave, kids, and baby daddies. And you know what? I, I, I promise that if it wasn't for community guidelines, I would read these men for filth. But I'm not allowed to right now because they love to report my videos when I do so. But maybe I need to start a Patreon or something or give y'all do the links where I can make videos and you can only come in and watch them if you got a link and I can read these men the way I really, really want to. Because I promise you, that brings me so much satisfaction. So I'm feeling very um, stifled right now. <laughs> but um, anyway, let's just get into it. And the fact that there are black men in this group talking really reckless about black women and I go click on their pages and you know what they look like exactly how you think that they look. And also the fact that there are non-black men in this group talking about black women and the black men are not checking them at all is absolutely disgusting. Now look at here what William Taylor says, wigs, weaves, fake lashes, et cetera, et cetera. And then when I look up Mr. William Taylor's profile, this is what I see. <laughs> I am just flabbergasted at the audacity. Now, this man says problem, mouth, debts. I'm not going to read the rest. But then when I go to this man's profile and see this, oh my goodness, the pure audacity. Now, this man here says black women have a lot of semen spelled S-E-M-A-N. What? What? First of all, I'm not even going to get into the fact that he misspelled it and it's biologically impossible for women to even, you know what? But I go to his page and I'm just, oh my goodness. I, the disrespect is so, so very real. Everybody feels like they can come in and take a dump on black women. And it's ridiculous. And I just don't understand what is wrong with with men these days. And I just don't understand what black women have done to anybody for everybody to feel like they can come in and attack us how they see fit. Hmm. But, and, and what's crazy is they have all of these high standards and impossible standards that they want black women to live up to, but they don't even meet the barest of the barest of the barest of the barest minimum requirements. They want a virgin, but they want her to open her legs up for a sandwich. They want a virgin, but don't want to tell that girl. Well, they do want to tell that girl to be cool with being cheated on. The logic is absolutely insane. And you know what? I really, really am leaning towards doing like private videos where you have to have some type of link or something like that to view them. Maybe I could do a Patreon or maybe I could do a special membership so that I know that whoever watches my videos will not report them. Because I feel like if you if you pay me like 99 cents or two dollars or something like that to view the videos and i i'm pretty sure that you wouldn't you know be that type of person but i don't know y'all let me know um what what way i could do this where i could really speak freely you know what i'm saying because honestly the fact that i could not read these dudes the way i really wanted to today I, and i had to take it super easy on them it was just like i just like i said earlier it just it's not satisfying to me but uh <laughs> Anyway, I digress. If you watch this whole video, I promise you, you are a super real one. And I totally appreciate your support. And you taking the time to watch my videos and listen to them in their entirety. Because I really do work hard on them. And I appreciate you so much. 
if you could do me a favor and drop a 99 in the comments so that I can recognize you and know, you know, who's really watching my videos as a whole. You know what I mean? Um, I would really appreciate that. And if you can't donate to my Cash App above to help support the channel, that's no problem at all. You know what I'm saying? No problem at all. I know times is hard. Just do me a free favor, okay? Just subscribe to my YouTube. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my new uploads. If you could slide on over to my TikTok, I'm on the road to 10K, and I would appreciate it. And also, I always go live over there. I live stream a lot. So if you like to talk to me in real time or engage with me, that's really the place to go until I figure out how to stream on YouTube. And you know what? You can also always email me. My email is unpopularopinionsblkwmn at gmail.com. And you can always contact me there. Like if you want to send me some content you want me to talk about or you just need to talk in general, just email me there. And as always, drop your thoughts, comments and feelings down below.